Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an ed tech and curriculum consultant, founder of classtechtips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to explore with you today how to create storyboards online. And they're a terrific online tool, one that I love that's free and easy to use, which is Storyboard That. And so Storyboard That is a digital storytelling tool. I'm here at their website, storyboardthat.com, and I'm going to go ahead and create a storyboard. I don't need to worry about logging in unless I want to save my creation and come back to it later. But if I'm ready to just jump in, I can go and create my storyboard. So here you can see that I can choose different backgrounds and drag them into the cells. I can decide if I want the buildings to be different colors, if I want the trim to be changed. So lots of ways to really customize this um, depending on the story you're looking to, sell, to share um, in each cell. You can also go ahead and change the layout as well. So lots of ways to customize here. After you've chosen the scene, you can go ahead and add different characters to your story. So you can add different people. I'll plug some in here for us to take a look. I have the option to make them a little bit larger or smaller. I can edit their pose if I want to or little things about them. See how I can even change the way their arm is um, or put them on a side view all sorts of options there um, and I can update the pose here. When I click on this person, I'm also given the option to change um, their hair color, their eye color, you name it as well. I can go to my textables section and this is where I can add what we're normally used to when we think about um, storyboards and graphic novels and all of those great things. I can go in here and type in information um, it also gives me the opportunity to change colors that connect as well. The shapes um, are great if you're looking to add something into the background or another element into your cells. Um, there's also the web and technology piece. So if you wanted to add different buttons to yours, um, you can add them here as well. So with Storyboard That, you have the opportunity to create a really customized story experience. Um, this could be something that you use with students when they are looking to tell a story that they've written um, in a more visual format. This is something you could use if they are sequencing and retelling a story. So with Storyboard That, um, you can search through, add all sorts of different backgrounds, um, all different sorts of characters, and then layer in your dialogue before saving and sharing your final creations.